Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk about holding our breath. So this question came up in regards to when we feel stressed and anxious and we find ourselves holding our breath. And absolutely, one of the things that we often recognise is that when we are feeling a bit stressed that we do hold our breath. And I suppose what I wanted to put forward, of course, is that yes, we hold our breath when we're stressed and yes, we hold it when we're anxious or if we're scared of something. But actually, we hold our breath in so many different settings. So if I am thinking about what I might say or I'm trying to remember something like, oh, when was that? I'm going to hold my breath in that process of recall. I'm going to hold my breath if I go to take a picture or something. So I'm holding up the camera or the phone and I'm going to pause. And in that moment of kind of pausing either to steady the camera or to kind of get the shot of me or someone else right, I'm going to hold my breath. I'm going to hold my breath, um, you know, when I walk into a room and I don't like the smell. I, it might be quite instinctive. I just go, oh, what's that smell? And I'll just immediately kind of close my, my nostrils and sort of inhibit my breath coming in. I might hold my breath um, when I'm learning something new. So maybe I'm sort of on a skateboard and I'm like, oh, how do I do this? And, you know, I'm going to hold my breath in that moment. Um, I'm going to hold my breath if I dive into the ocean. Um, and I might want to hold my breath for quite a long time. You know, if I'm even just in the middle of a swimming stroke and I want to shift from doing three um, cycle breathing to a five cycle breathing, I want to hold my breath a little bit longer. And of course, free divers are holding their breath for many, many minutes. So there's different times in life where holding the breath is just going to be an instantaneous thing we do. Either it's a thought or an emotion or it's a situation that requires the holding of the breath. Um, or we're going to be able to train our breath hold for, um, for various activities, which might be playing an instrument or you know, diving, those kinds of things. So the fact that we hold our breath in itself, of course, there is nothing wrong with holding the breath. That being said, people can feel that sense of that they hold their breath when they're stressed and anxious. And that combined experience is one that's really unpleasant. So today we're going to do a little exploration around holding the breath and seeing if we can get a little bit more familiar and a little bit more comfortable with it. It is really important to learn to delay our breathing a little bit so we don't have to be breathing in all the time so quickly so we, we can actually sustain the length with which we abstain from breathing. Uh, it's really good for the nervous system. Um, and it's just also something that we can start to do which will aid in the slowing down of the breathing. So this kind of breath holding um, practice is really useful in that too. So what I'd like you to do is just to take a smallish, medium-sized breath in and then hold it. And notice in your body where it is that you are holding, not the breath, but you're holding tension. Maybe it's around the chest, the shoulders, the neck, maybe even the throat or the jaw. You can breathe out any time you like. And then go again and breathe in and hold the breath. And notice in your body, where are you tensing up? Which muscles are in contraction in order for you to hold your breath? And we're just going to repeat this a few times. Just breathing in, holding the breath, and then breathing out. Now the next time that you do this movement where you breathe in and you hold the breath, I'm going to change my wording very slightly. I'd like you to breathe in and pause. Pause the breath. And in that process of pausing the breath, can you see if you can give up the holding of any tension in the face, in the throat, in the mouth, in the neck, in the shoulders, in the chest, in the belly, in the hips, in the legs or the hands or the feet? Can you breathe in? Pause the breath. 
but have an absence of tension. So it's just a pause. And you just scan through and notice, oh, where am I holding tension? Oh, in the eyes, in the tongue, between the shoulder blades, in the belly. Can the breath momentarily pause? And then resume without tension. So let's just play with that a little bit. Breathing in, pause. The mouth is soft, the eyes are soft, the chest is soft, shoulder blades can move, but I'm not breathing. And then you can breathe in or you can breathe out. And we're looking for not that we hold our breath as the problem, but when we hold our breath, do we hold tension? Can the pause or the, the stopping of the breath be absence, absent of tension? So you just play with this. You can play with also as you breathe out that on that out breath, either halfway or three quarters of the way down, that you pause the breath. And again, can you pause the breath without holding tension in the body? That it's simply just putting a little break in the flow of air coming in and the flow of air going out. And just scan through, the hands can be soft. You could even play a little bit with pausing the breath and just moving the shoulders a little bit, moving the spine a little bit. Circling around, moving the head. And of course, you play with this at the, at the right pace for you. You might pause your breath for one second. That might be plenty to be curious about that. And then you might take quite a few breaths. And then somewhere along that excursion of inhalation and exhalation, you just find a little moment just to pause and be like, oh, oh look at that cloud what that sound was and that I can pause my breath without holding tension oh I can pause my breath without pausing my movement I can recall a memory I can be like oh that smell is not pleasant I will not be breathing in right now but that in the choice not to breathe I don't have to be going oh that we can start to, we call it differentiate, we can start to pull apart these two sometimes intertwined experiences that the breath hold is with tension. Can the pause of the breath, the hold of the breath, have nothing to do with holding tension? So have a little play with this. The next time that you catch yourself holding your breath, pause in that breath hold and see if you can give up the tension that is in the body, but still be with the breath hold. Or intentionally through the day, do a little breath hold and just see if you can pause that breath and have movement, have softness in the musculature that the holding of the breath does not equal holding of tension. See how you go and let me know. Bye.